Good morning, everyone. So today is the day that we have been waiting for. Um, we are getting, we are gonna get married today. Super. Pinagpray ko talaga yung weather ngayong araw na to na maging okay na maging sunny and God has really answered my prayer. Tignan nyo naman yung weather. It's the current weather outside. Very sunny. And I'm really hoping that it's going to be a great day today. to share with you guys this ex experience for a lifetime. Blessings up to this moment. Continue. Bless us today, and may you really be yes. We love you, but in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. For all the times I felt cheated, I complained, you know how I love to come play. For all the wrong. Hey room. I still yeah. 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 I didn't have a prayer, didn't have a clue. And then out of the blue, God gave me you to show me what's real. And there's more to life than just how I feel. The gentlemen who are joining us from afar can actually ask that everybody be upstanding. Are they standing? <laughs> everybody up, come on! Because, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to join me in welcoming the Bride of Party. Fantastic. Thank you very much. And ladies and gentlemen, the bride and groom. Excuse me, just for a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. You guys gonna move in the front. Yeah, come on, come on. Are you ready? Keep breathing. Well, to begin, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you all here today. Those who can physically be with us, and of course, those who are joining us through technology. 
You're welcome. Before I can start, though, I do need to... Oh, look at these smiles. <laughs> I think that's a good sign. <laughs> I do need to actually formally introduce myself though. So my name is Michael Talon. I am a marriage celebrant, authorised to solemnise your marriage here today in accordance with the laws of Australia. The two of you stand here today. Excited. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Happily. Yes. Yeah, yes. Nervously? <laughs> <laughs> you can sound a little bit closer. But confidently about to make a vow, a promise to spend the rest of your lives together. A life as husband and wife. I think it's important to note at this stage that, and I think actually most of you would agree, marriage actually isn't about a piece of paper. Yeah. Yes. I will get you to sign my later. <laughs> <laughs> but I actually think it is about two people actually having the courage, the commitment, the conviction to stand up in front of people who are important in their lives, people they love and respect, those people that are here today. Those who can physically be here, but also those who are joining us from afar. You have all been invited here today to actually play a very important role. You're all here today as witness to this marriage. And as such, each and every one of you makes a statement as well. A statement of support for this union. But I think we also understand people have different ideas about marriage. What it means, where it should take place, who can be there, <laughs> who can join us in different formats. But obviously the only thing that matters today is what marriage means to the two of you. Having said that, I do think most of us understand marriage to mean something along the lines of a commitment between two people. We love each other. A commitment to support, encourage, inspire. A commitment to stand here <laughs> in front of all of these people. <laughs> now, before I ask you to make your vows to each other, <coughs> take a breath. I do need to remind you of the solemn and binding nature of the relationship into which you're about to enter. Marriage, according to the law of Australia, it's a union between two people, to the exclusion of all others, voluntarily entered into, for life. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to marry this girl? It's not good. Do you want to marry this boy? Of course. <laughs> I call upon the persons present to witness that from today, I, I, take you to to be my lawfully wedded wife. I call upon. I call upon the persons present. The persons present to witness. To witness that from today. That from today. I. I. Romary Lankai Tablete. Take you. Take you, George Hermona Bali. To be, to be my lovely, my lovely wedded, husband. wedded husband.
weekend. So, <laughs> so Rome, I knew you. I knew from the very moment I laid my eyes on you that you will take a huge part of my life. And now, I am not even surprised that part is to be my wife. Our love grows as time passes by. <laughs> so our love grows as time passes by, even now. As I look at how beautiful you are today, and how you look at me with those eyes, <laughs> I just cannot help but fall in love with you even more. This love of ours grows stronger with trust, loyalty, and with our reverence in addition with our relationship with our Almighty God as our foundation. Now let me solemnly vow in front of our dear friends and family present here with us in this ceremony to our family, distant relatives, and friends who are watching that I, again, Giorgio Cedeno Carmona Manguera Valle, take you, Romary Durian Tanghai Aglao Puglete, as my wife to have and to hold from this day forward for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to make you happy and make you wear that beautiful smile till death do us part. This I solemnly vow. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> it's a long. <laughs> okay. My love. <laughs> Today, I stand before you, confessing my love and commitment to you. As I look back, our relationship has never been easy. We started as colleagues, developed into friendship, becoming a couple, and now as husband and wife. Who would have known that I would end up to you? Remembering those days, how strict my parents were that they would not allow me to engage in a relationship not until I finish school and have a job. I waited for 20 years and there you came. A man who made me fall in love and believe in true love. But our story did not end there. We have been challenged and tested. My parents were against it that we even have to date and see each other secretly. <laughs> there came a point in my life where I started asking God, is this really worth it? I was so down and depressed that they could not accept what we had, and I felt like the whole world is against us. But this did not stop me from fighting what we had. I promised myself that my first shall be my last, so I prayed and prayed tested for our love, stood up for what I believe is right, and put my faith in God, because nothing is impossible to those who believe. You fought so hard in winning my parents' hearts, and that patience, perseverance, faith put us to where we are right now. If I am to be asked what I could change, if I can turn back time, I wouldn't change anything, and I will still be choosing you. For it is through our sacrifices and challenges in life that made our relationship this strong that not anyone or anything could bend it or destroy it. I thank you for the five wonderful years we have been together. Although we have been tested by distance and time for three years that we were in a long distance relationship, still we are here and we have made it through. Thank you for bringing joy into my life, for showing your genuineness as a person, for loving my family the way I do. I promise to love you, protect you, respect you, care for you, pray for you, and submit myself to you. 
as it says in Matthew 19 verse 5 to 6, a man will leave his father and mother and unite with his wife, and the two will become one. So they are no longer two, but one. No human being must separate what God has joined together. And to end my message, I want you to know that I love you and never will I ever leave you. I promise to make you the happiest man on earth, be the best wife <laughs> you could never imagine, and the best mom to our future kids. We are in this together, for better, for worse, for for richer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, and to dance to our part. I love you. Yes. 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 With this ring, I marry you. The two of you have to stood here. In front of family and friends, those here. And in front of them, you have just made that promise. And in front of each other. And so therefore, it is my privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. Oh, no.